Ah, there we go. There's the plus and minus on each of these, and then there's the 1.5 volts. Okay, so I'm all hooked up. I'm all ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is measure the voltage across these guys. And I do have to be careful here because my voltage measurement and my series measure, or excuse me, my current measurement are two different types of things. So I'm going to have to unhook things over here and I have to change the dial to do those. So what I'm going to do first is do all of my voltage measurements and then I'm going to go back and do my current measurements. So on this guy and notice my wire colors. I've got this is green for positive, this is red for negative. A lot of times the red side is positive, the black side is negative, or you might have several other combinations that work for that. Notice here I'm going to measure from this side to this side and I get 1.82 volts. You can write that down in your book. However, if I measure it the opposite way, I get almost exactly the same value, but with a negative sign. Again, not a big deal, as long as you make sure you've got your polarity in the right direction. Okay, so the first one, continuing this direction, uh, let's go this direction, this side's positive. So 1.82 volts. For the second one, it doesn't matter where I touch it as long as I've got a good solid connection. There's 0.86 volts. And over here I've got 0.3839. Go ahead and record that value for it. Okay, so one thing I want to point out here is because these measurements are much less than 2 volts, I could jump back down here and do the measurements. And notice I pick up what looks like, this looks like 1826. Notice what's really happening is this is millivolts, so if I put my 1.82 in there, uh, 1.827, I get one extra significant digit when I do that. Um, there's two schools of thought with this. First one is you should always use the same setting on here, so if there's differences between the settings that that's not coming into play, these are not the world's most expensive multimeters, so there could be a big difference in there. What I'm going to do here is give you both sets. Let's take these measurements again. So that is 1826.27 millivolts. Make sure that you put it in the right units. There's the middle one, resistor 2, and there's the third one, resistor 1. And you'll never get rid of that little flutter at the end. So somewhere between those two numbers, but I'd write down one or the other for it. Okay, so now we're set up to measure the currents that are going through here. So for currents, we want to make sure that we're in the ammeter section. And in this case, we need to actually have the current go from the battery. Look carefully here. This is where it's hooked up to the positive side of the battery. It is coming to here. It is going then into the ammeter setting of the multimeter and coming back out to this end and then going through the circuit. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and measure the current going into the first resistor and I need to make sure that I get that right in place. So that is in milliamps so that looks like 3.9 
to me. Okay, now, this is where this part gets tricky. I now need to move these so that they're beside each other, but not in the same hole. Now I'm going to touch the wire on this side and the wire on that side and get this wire out of the way. So there we go. And that's my current from the first one into the, or excuse me, from resistor two into, excuse me, resistor three, that's this one right here, into resistor two, which is right there. Remember, this is going one, two, three. So these are going to be backwards in your data table, but that's all right because you'll probably be able to see why right now. Make sure to hook this guy back up. And I touch those, and there are my currents. Okay, now again, just to show you if I had mixed this or put these in the other way, should get just about the same value. Again, if we had a more uh, precise multimeter, you might see a couple of extra decimal places there. Okay, so that's it for the series circuit.